I'm going back to England. I just feel really bad that I, I didn't have the courage just to just to go. So um, I got upset about it and uh, spoke to Lisa, and then yeah, Lisa just booked all the um, the flights and the and the accommodation and the and the hire car. So, Or before any of that, roll intro. Morning from Department 16, La Charente, the northernmost tip of the southwest of France. Good morning to you. It's uh, what day is it today? It's Thursday. Um, so normally. Today's video and tomorrow's video will go out tomorrow, but it's not. Um, and that's because I'm going back to England. And so I won't have time to uh, edit it for tomorrow because I'll, I'll be in the UK. Uh, but I'm going to take you with me. Anyway, the reason why I'm going back to the UK, and it, it was a last minute thing, is because, um, as I said, uh, it was my daughter's uh, graduation last week. Um. Rosalie Morland. <laughs> if I'm honest, I didn't have the bravery to um, to go to the ceremony and uh, occupy the same uh, the same space as uh, as her mum, which is very sad uh, because we have tried to reach out before, and uh, and and it's always been turned down. For whatever reason, I just feel really bad that I, I didn't have the courage just to just to go. So um, I got upset about it and uh, spoke to Lisa, and then yeah, Lisa just booked all the um, the flights and the and the accommodation and the and the hire car. So I'm gonna turn up to to Rosie's work tomorrow. She works uh, as an optometrist in an optician's. Uh, I'm just gonna turn up at work and uh, take her and her twin. Have for something to eat tomorrow night to, to celebrate. So I can show you guys uh, where it's not where I'm from, because I'm from up near, near near to Liverpool. But for but for twenty odd years, uh, I lived in the in the in the southeast of uh, England, a place called Hastings. It's where you lot invaded and conquered in 1066, and why most of our words are French, but pronounced badly. I'll see if we can drive past the old house. Um, the street where we lived here yeah, for a couple of years before we moved out, my place of work. That's if you're interested, you always skip forward, can't you? Anyway, uh, we've been to the tax office today and we already have a <laughs> numero fiscal. And uh, anyway, it was on the system, we just didn't know. But the reason why we've got the, the tax to habitation uh, bill is because we haven't registered ourselves as tax residents in France. Right, you, there needs to be a welcome to France handbook. <laughs> you know, like when you start a new job and it says, right, yes, yeah, so this is what you need to do. You need to register this with HR. You need to contact occupational health, blah, 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 blah. But I suppose that that's what this channel is, isn't it? It's like a, a welcome to France handbook channel. And so I've managed to uh, to gain access to my uh, import account or as the French would pronounce it, uh, compte de... Um, Paul? Anyway, uh, loads of comments yesterday about French driving, mostly responded to by French people. <laughs> and that came as no surprise uh, because of the, the, the cheeky thumbnail. Um, but yeah, I, I think the general consensus is, is that um, driving cur courtesy in France is, is more or less Non, non-existent and uh, for reasons not known but uh, there are a few people saying that it's regional and uh, the more south you go the worse it is but I don't know uh, I can only comment by what's going on in in this area I'm going to continue to wave to people I am I'm going to say thank you and acknowledge people 
Well, thank you for all your comments. And uh, there's loads of comments between you all as well, having conversations, which, which is absolutely great. So, positive day today. No, so we've got our numbers. I've gained access to the uh, Impots account. And uh, we're, we are well on our way to being French. The only annoying thing is, I put myself down as paying uh, for our tax foncier because it came in two hours for some reason um, by direct debit and it's still showing on the on the account it's not paid and uh, and no money's been coming out of my account so that's really annoying anyway the weights that i ordered they're coming today so uh whatever next is and it's and, and it's probably the sunglasses thing going to the airport let's do that yeah i've got my passport massive shout out to beatrice delia Hopefully I pronounced that correctly, sorry, for your Movember donation. And Gary Fuller, amazing people. Thank you so much. Off to the airport. The route has been calculated. Drive on to a digitised road. Shh, cue slow-mo. Money back. Turn next left. I've left my wallet at home, so we're gonna have to go back. Idiot. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I'll see you tomorrow. From a cold southeast England, the southernmost tip. <laughs> I had an awful night last night. Hold on. Right, let me turn this telly off. I had an awful night last night. Couldn't sleep. Um, the drive down was an absolute farce. I picked up a hire car. Um, it's a really small one. Uh, kept trying to find six gear. Didn't have one. Where six gear was, was reverse. So within the first 10 minutes, I nearly killed the gearbox. I put from Stansted to uh, Hastings into the sat-nav. And somebody previously, and I should have checked, had um, put shortest available route, which takes you through central London, which is not where I wanted to be. So the two hour trip turned into a three and a half hour trip. And I don't know central London. So speaking to Lisa this morning, um, 
don't think I'm UK compatible anymore. I'm hungry. I'm going to go for a traditional fr English breakfast. So let's do that. Right, breakfast was a, it's a six out of ten. The black pudding was awful. Um, right, so off to go and surprise Rosie. She, she'll be working in um, the opticians in a supermarket. I don't, I don't know whether she's working today, <laughs> and that's the problem. Uh, and I haven't got a plan B. But uh, right. Talk in a minute. I was emotional. Oh, that was really, really nice. I'm so pleased she was there. So I'm going to take her out tonight, and we're going to go and uh, surprise um, her sister Millie. She won't be filmed on YouTube, um, but yeah, we're going to surprise her later. But in a minute, I'm going to surprise Megan, the eldest, eldest daughter. That's Lisa's daughter. Um, but I'll take you and show you the the wonderful sights of. Uh, of Hastings. <laughs> so that's down in the town. So uh, so let's do that. I paused up there when I said um, Megan and then uh, I said it was Lisa's Megan. Um, that, yeah, that's just yeah, for clarity for you guys really because we've never parentally separated them. Anyway, this is the wrong side. Q slow mo. <laughs> Now that's the sea where the French invaded in, ten, in 1066. It's a bit further over to the right. But you to see them. The Hastings Pier, that's uh, refurbished a few years ago. That was burned down by arsonists.
my eye test. <laughs> what can you do the slow-mo with it? Rosie, it's now meal with uh, Rosie, Millie, uh, father-in-law, mother-in-law, Megan, and her other half Ollie. So there's seven of us, uh, which is in which is soup. The traffic on the road around here is appalling. It, Hastings got a population of around about ninety-five thousand people. Um, it'll take you forty-five minutes to get from one part of town to the other, about three miles. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so Rosie. Did my eye test today and diagnosed me with a glaucoma. Amazing. <laughs> no, um, apparently it's the um, it's the very very earliest mildest part of uh, glaucoma. Um, something which she wouldn't ordinarily tell patients if they had it at my level um, because yeah they, it would send them into a flat spin. But because I went in there because I've been having problems with my left eye being blurry in my right eye and now need distance glasses and reading glasses. So I need glasses now for driving and for um, <laughs> for watching TV and, and another pair of glasses for uh, for reading. Anyway, got a uh, family and friends discount of 50%, which is amazing. Anyway, right, I'm off to go and pick up the other twin now, which she doesn't want to be filmed. Uh, well, she didn't last time anyway, but she's an identical twin, so you more or less have already seen him with Rosie. So <laughs> let's not film her, film her, but let's go to the restaurant. Oh, how I wish for the Christmases of old, where the snow would fall and the air was crisp and cold, where we heard stables to go see Megan's horse. just want to give a massive shout out before I go to the stables because uh, I had a, the last uh, Movember donation for charity <clears throat> and um, it's from um, Sean Ismay and the message reads uh, and it's for £157 and uh, I don't normally mention I did at the start I did at the start uh, but I haven't been mentioning the amounts but I'm going to do this time because it's the largest. Uh, it's the largest amount so far, and uh, it's well done, Rob. This money comes from my convenience store charity fund. We charge for reusable carrier bags and donate each month to a charity. The amount donated is from one month sales. I also did the same for a friend who was uh, raising for November. Also, all the best, Sean Ismay, 
in the beautiful Norfolk one day to be swapped for beautiful France. Sean, thank you so much. That is absolutely amazing. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, tomorrow, uh, I will give you the uh, yeah, the total amount. But we've easily smashed the target. Anyway. Yeah, yesterday when I came back from uh, being having my eyes tested by Rosalie, I said that I was diagnosed with something. And I can't remember what I said I was diagnosed with. I have a feeling I said I was diagnosed with glaucoma. Uh, because that's what came out of my mouth yesterday when I was trying to update the in-laws. And it's not glaucoma. It's cataracts. It's the very mildest form of cataracts. So, uh, <laughs> so apologies. Anyway. down and you stare at your window hoping that you'll come up with some words to say that's not okay when you feel like you're fed up with heartbreak and you know that you can't take enough Good afternoon. I put this coat on. I didn't need to. It's not cold. <laughs> just look cold. Anyway, the reason why it's the afternoon and I haven't said good morning is because I just spent five hours editing up to this part of the video. It's already 25 minutes long. So these next couple of days are going to be short. But I want to give a massive shout out to my brother, Pete Bartholomew. We we're part of the Movember team. And between us, we've raised £1,900 going towards uh, men's uh, both physical and mental health. And a massive thank you to each and every one of you that have uh, walked, supported the channel, uh, provided money. It's all gone to a great cause and, uh, and I can't thank you enough. Um, Ali and Steve from Shattered Tales. Shattered Tales with Ali and Steve posted a video the other day and I watched it and I loved it. I really, really did. It's so well done, guys. I love your humour, I love your vibe, I love your energy. Um, yeah, so <laughs> here's a little clip from the video and I need you to remember that feedback's a gift that uh, a good slow-mo takes between 2.8 seconds and 3.2 seconds in normal speed. Then you slow it down by 25% in the edit. Right, so watch this. Um, just before we go, just before we head out, I, I need to give a big, or I'd like to give a big shout out to Rob and Lisa, two fantastic people who have got a wonderful channel. I'm pretty sure because a lot of you came from his channel to come and view my channel, you probably know about him already. Um, but his, 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 um, his channel is such, it's addictive. It's one of those channels that you just, you know, we wait now. We, we wait with bated breath by the, by the television, uh, waiting for his channel to come. It makes us sound a bit sad, really, doesn't it? But anyway, in tribute uh, to Rob. Um, okay, Rob, uh, you know the drill. Q slow mo.
Oliver. Not a bad first attempt. Um, and unless you uh, uh, subscribe to e Epidemic Sounds, you'll probably get a copyright strike. <laughs> so be mindful of that once you uh, inevitably monetize. Anyway, um, keeping this, these two videos shorter, I'll see you tomorrow. Ten years ago today, Robbie was born. Happy birthday, Robbie. Really proud of him. He's come on. He's come on leaps and bounds, hasn't he, babe? Mm -hmm. Since being in France. And uh, he had his party on Saturday. And uh, he was just off talking fluently in French. Anyway, good afternoon to you. I've, <laughs> I've literally just read a comment from a very old video when we were doing the renovation saying, I don't know how you can... I don't know how you can build a bedroom without a window. I, I reply about easy. You build one without a window. Anyway, negative comments. It's not to really piss me off now. Anyway, um, I'm probably not in the best of moods, and I've got permission to uh, to show you this clip. But it's what my brother posted on uh, on social media yesterday. He's got a form of skin cancer. Um, that's it, mate. Do me. Um November walk, I'm, uh, I'm just about to do my 100 miles. Always look after your skin and always wear sunscreen. I've gone through all life, you know. I wear sunscreen now and again, but not all the time. <clears throat> and it's come back to bite me on the arse because I had a bit of a skin complaint on my face, which I uh, got seen to. And then when I came, um, just come back from the doctors from Helsby. Can you see me? From Helsby. And uh, she's got um, BCC, which is basal cell skin cancer. Look after your skin, moisturise and rehydrate as well. So on to the Yeah, he's um brother's not concerned, but uh Yeah, it's just worrying though, isn't it? Anyway, I've got somebody who wants to say hello that you've not seen for a while. I'll show you. Hello, sunshine. Hello. I know. Wally hates him. Absolutely hates him. Um, you know, whenever me and Lucy are in the field with uh, with Wally, then Wally gets really protective and starts he starts nipping at uh, Unique, and he's uh, he bit his nose the other day. Caused it to bleed. You good boy. You good boy. You good boy. Oh, yeah. Jesus, look at the state of her. I know. Oh my goodness, have you seen have you seen Belle? <laughs> she was clean yesterday. Oh what's the point? What's the point? He's all clean there. Having watched this video uh, many times in the edit, it's my favourite video. One to uh, to actually record as well because I had an amazing time. Uh, you're seeing the kids and getting together with the family, uh, but also editing as well. So hope you uh, all enjoy the rest of your Monday. See you Wednesday. Later.